Hey, hey, who's here? Let me check on my iPad since I've got my phone all funky here. Hey everyone. I feel like I have not been here in so long. Just this last week has been so busy. Are you sneaking in the shadows, Jenna? <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you everyone for joining. I'm really excited as we are finishing Leo season. Hello, you know what that means, Virgo season. <laughs> And I am super excited because I celebrate all month long, even though I've never really been a big birthday person celebrating my birthday. I've got big plans and messages and giveaways and everything. I'm just, I'm just so grateful to each and every one of you that for my birthday, I'll be sharing so much with you guys. So. Hope you guys hear that announcement. I do plan on making that announcement on Thursday because that is when we go into Leg um, Virgo season. My birthday is September 2nd, Labor Day weekend. It's on a Sunday. Yay, Virgos! Where's my Virgo team at? <laughs> I know I've got a few of you in here. You know I am. <laughs> Not only do I celebrate like like the entire weekend because it's Labor Day weekend and I get Monday off, <laughs> but I'm going to celebrate all month long and I am so excited to share with all of you. Yes, yes. I'm counting all you Virgo rising, Virgo moons too, because I know having Virgo in your chart, it ain't easy. <laughs> Hi everyone, all of you that just joined, welcome. I know I have a lot of new people here. I'm super excited. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do weekly energies. I know I am not done putting up the love readings. I will get to them, the rest of them this week. I have like three more, and I also have a few personals that I'm working on. So yeah, oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's good, Sarah. All right, okay, weekly energies. I'm gonna get started, and um, I'm gonna give fire signs their uh, last, you know, being in charge for the week because we're coming out of Leo season and we're going into Earth Virgo season. So let me get started with uh, fire signs. Welcome. I don't, I don't want to mess up your name, but I'm just going to say 52 because that I can say. Oh, Opeth, Ope, Ope, 52. Fire signs first. <laughs> Fire and smoke, you are too funny. Okay, everyone, welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm going to get started weekly energies so I can get everyone in. So fire signs, what do fire signs have going for them this week? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm, unlikely. What is going on? I'm trying to plan something underhanded, fire signs? Because that shit is unlikely to happen. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see fire signs, unlikely. Opeth, got it. All right, cool. Aries. Six of Swords. Leo's got all kinds of cards trying to flip out. Get it together, fire signs. Leo, Ace of Cups. No wonder so many cards are trying to flip out. What are what is going on? Sagittarius, Two of Swords. Okay, all right. We're gonna clarify this, don't you worry. So, Aries. If you've got some sort of plan in order for you to move forward, move ahead on whether it's a business matter, a love matter, relationship, you've got something that you've been trying to steer away from quite a bit of drama because I'm feeling as though this is a long time coming that you've been trying to get away from it. But I also feel that you kind of got a part in it as well. So if you think you're just going to skip out and move real quickly, like I didn't do this, I had nothing to do with that, then it's unlikely, Aries, because more than likely the universe is saying you got to do your part here. 
By the way, at any time, if you guys have trouble hearing me or something, let me know, okay? Because the way I have things set up, I don't always know. So here we go. Leo, Ace of Cups reversed. If you are thinking that something shady is going on in your relationship, like there's no love there, like something's going on, hello, unlikely. You have like the best turnout here. Why are you worried? Sagittarius, Two of Swords. You're stuck in this stagnancy. You cannot decide which path to take, which relationship to take, which way to go. I feel as though it is unlikely you're going to get an answer to that because you've got a lot of pent-up energies there. So here we go. Let's clarify for Aries one more time. Why is it unlikely the Six of Swords is going to happen? Because you've got a King of Pentacles. It's probably like uh, stuck in their head. Hello. Whether it's you, Aries, or that King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who's got another plan for you or another plan in mind if you guys are coupled up, Aries, it is unlikely that the way you have things planned in your mind, it ain't happening. That's for sure. You got people stuck in their heads, overthinking, but you have to communicate like ASAP. Get it out. Do what you need to do. Speak your truth. So here we go, Leos, unlikely. Mm -mm -mm. Leo, if you are thinking that your partner doesn't love you, come on. It is unlikely for them not to love you is how I see this. Because if that Ace of Cups was upright, it is unlikely that they love you. But this is in reverse. It is unlikely that this partner, this person you are with, doesn't love you. It, it's, it's whatever it is that you're thinking, you're overthinking. Page of Pentacles and the Death card. Okay, Leo, if you're thinking that things were changing within a partnership, business, or friendship, or relationship, things have been changing because business has been changing, financial ideas have been changing, and you're thinking that this doesn't sound like them, this doesn't sound like something they would say or do, something's going on, and you know, your mind jumps from one thing to another. Already, you know, almost as though, like, why would they do this to me type thing? I don't know why that goes into your mind. It's not personal. They have their ideas that they're wanting to share with you. It doesn't mean they don't love you. It doesn't mean they don't take you into consideration. It's kind of like the whole, um, can you take me into consideration too? I have ideas too, babe. Can, can, you, can you think of, you know, what I'm, can you just think for a minute? I, I'm trying to show you an idea. Can you listen to me? That's how I feel like this is. Because there's a new beginning that needs to take place. I feel like there's expansion here. Somebody wants to expand on something within this partnership, but it is unlikely that you're allowing them to. It's like you cut them down before they can do that. And Sagittarius, Two of Swords. Why is it unlikely for this Two of Swords? What is going on with Sagittarius? <laughs> Seven of Cups. Knight of Cups. You got more than one offer coming in here. And it is unlikely you're going to decide on which of the two, three, seven. <laughs> I feel as though the more offers you get, the look at that, Queen of Cups. The more offers you get, the more difficult it becomes to narrow down your options. See, look at the <laughs> three of pentacles. Sagittarius, you got a lot coming in for you. But it is unlikely that you're going to get out of this two of swords mentality. You still have stuff that you feel a bit um, stuck to. You, you, you were on a, a specific path that you had in mind. But there were too many people, three's a crowd, right? And so with the two of swords, you're like, how do I move away from this? How do I move on to this? How do I move away from this? You may think that all these offers that are gonna come in are what takes you out of the stagnancy, but it is unlikely that this shit is what's gonna get you to get over that. It might keep you busy for a minute or two or 10. But you still have all these feelings, all this pent up emotions and energy that comes in. But you're going to distract yourself with all these offers that come in. 
Now that's up to you. I can't tell you what to do, Sagittarius. Just be careful you don't get caught up, you don't get hurt, and you don't continue hurting yourself even further because you're trying to drown out the stagnancy with these Seven of Cups. I hope that resonated for you fire signs. I hope that made sense to you guys. I haven't been able to read the, the messages, so <laughs> I'm sure you guys are staying entertained, my regulars. I love you guys. I so appreciate everyone for being here. Let's see, what do we have going on for Earth Signs? Earth Signs next. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do they have going on this week? <laughs> you guys are awesome. I love you guys. Let's see, what do we have going on for Earth Signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I want to thank each and every one of you that have subscribed to YouTube, that have liked, comment, shared, all of the above, that have ordered personal readings. You guys, I feel super humbled and happy and appreciative. You guys know, those that have been with me from the very beginning on here, because I'm still fairly new online. Um, I'm so incredibly grateful to you guys. I really am. So let's see. Here we go. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth signs. What do we have going on for this new week? Listen to your intuition. Mm, got that covered. <laughs> what about you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? <laughs> Why does this not surprise me? I'm gonna put them back in because I wasn't done shuffling and that was the four of pentacles that went with it. It flew out, but let's get started. Okay, come on now. Why, why are you doing this to me? Let's see. Slow down, earth signs, here we go. Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, one card each. Taurus, Taurus, listen to your intuition. You are miserably unhappy right now, Taurus. Why aren't you listening to your guides, to your intuition? They're telling you what needs to happen in your life. But you're not listening because you think you know all the answers. Virgo, the hanged man. Stop overthinking is what I'm going to say. <laughs> that was simple. Listen to your intuition. First thing that comes to mind, you know what I'm talking about, Virgo. Listen to your intuition. You're sitting there, wasting time, overthinking, when you could be up and moving. Capricorn, Queen of Swords. Uh, you guys know what I call her. <laughs> Somebody's got some cray cray energy around them. Whether it's you, Capricorn, who's fed up. Queen of Swords. This is Bitter Betty. This is Cut a Bitch. This is, come at me, bro. I'm about to fuck you up if you even think you're going to cross me. She means business, so watch out. If someone here is trying to screw over a Capricorn, I'm telling you right now, they're up for the challenge. You might not think they are, but they are. But let's see where this Capricorn uh, Queen of Swords energy is. This could be someone around them that's trying to cut them down. Or this could be them, sick and tired of someone's bullshit and they don't know where to go. But really, come on now, you know where to go. You know what you need to do. Listen to your intuition. So, listen to your intuition, Taurus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me tell you, Taurus, where's the T on this one? Right, Taurus? I know I got a lot of Taurus people here and people that have connections with Taurus. And this makes perfect sense for a lot of you in your own way. Listen to your intuition because let me tell you, if you're thinking you're being methodical here, trying to do the right thing, take all the right steps, three steps to the right, two steps to the left, and you're overthinking and overthinking the situation, you're really putting a hold on this happiness. What you want is that sun upright. Because I get the sense that the minute someone starts trying to fight with you over the dumbest shit, 
over the dumbest shit. And it's like, like this, this is you completely and totally, right? Taurus, got your eyes closed. I'm not having it. Taurus doesn't want to know. Shut your face. Get out of my face. And you're like probably with two drinks in hand going back and forth. I know what I want to do. I know what I need to do. But this person won't shut the F up, right? Right? But you got your eyes closed because you don't even want to deal with them. You're like, uh-uh, get out of my face. You make me miserably unhappy. Listen to your intuition. Why are you dealing with this shit, Taurus? Why? Why? You like fighting? Or you want a happily ever after here? You know what needs to happen. I feel like yelling at you, Taurus, if I didn't already. My bad. So let me, let me see. One more. One more. See, you're strong enough. Your intuition is telling you you're strong enough. This this catty person you're dealing with, catty, she she she's catty, he's catty. You know, you know they are. But who's the one taming who? You've given your power to this lion, this beast. Yeah, I'm gonna call him a beast. This beast for way too long. How about you get all five wands and put a stop to it? Right? It's, it's time. It's time. It's time to be done with it. Virgo, if you're overthinking why you're still single, because <laughs> that card just flew up, thinking and thinking, why am I still single? I feel as though, here we go. There's a lot of shit that you need to cut out of your life. I also feel as though, you have admirers, which is funny because that's what your love reading was about on YouTube. If you guys haven't seen it, click the link in my bio, that Virgo reading. It's about having admirers, people coming out, but not all of them are good admirers. You know, some of them just want to waste your time with fun, which is all good and all if you're up for it, right? But not if you're looking for a partner or soulmate then you're stopping the inevitable. So what I see here is you've got a lot of uh, probably younger people. You got people keeping an eye on you. You got young admirers, possibly an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They're watching you. They like you. They don't know what to say. They and I'm going to I'm going to put it this way. There is a Virgo here who has an air sign admirer who probably stumbles over their own words if that makes sense to you. It's like you make them that nervous, right? That internet communications, text messages, fast forward communications right there. And others of you have a king of cups. So let's see what's going on, Virgo. Possibly a cancer or someone with cancer in their chart. Here it is. Listen to your intuition because your intuition knows what steps, what communication, what it is you need to take in order for you to find yourself victorious in whatever this has to be. Whether this is personal, whether this is love life, family, friendship, business. You already know the answers here because you've probably run through every single plan A, plan B, plan Z to get to where you wanna be, to get to this abundance, this feeling of, I feel good, I'm not worried about anybody coming in, although you know you want someone to come in, and then you get all these flirty little text messages from like younger guys that look up to you, and that's cool and all. You want someone at your level, you want someone to play with, you want someone that's gonna join you in your plan and grow together. So you got pages and kings, take your pick. Which one you think will be more victorious here? You wanna go with the page, you wanna go with the king. It's up to you, right? So listen to your intuition because you know the answers to that already. You definitely have love offers coming in. Damn, Virgo. This just like reinforces that reading I've posted up on YouTube. <laughs> Admirers, love offers. You got, you, let me put it this way. You're going to have, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to describe them to you, and then you can tell me whether or not you got people like this in your circle. You got someone who's around your age or older, right? Who's not going to let on on their emotions, but it's so obvious that they, they got, you know, they like you. 
They want to date you. They want to see you. They want to spend time with you. They got their emotions under wrap. Maybe, maybe it's almost even a little hard for them to have fun because they're trying to contain their emotions. And then you got this Page of Cups energy, right? So they're younger, creative, spontaneous. Like they're the ones that are going to act the fool, be silly, be funny, do something crazy and random on a date. Let's go skydiving or something like that. But then the other side of them, the flip side of them is also like, hey, let's go, you know, to do something creative, right? I feel like there's a lot of creativity with this person, like very artistic. And then you've got this one, who's still pretty immature, but they put up this front, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They put up this front like, I'm so very mature. But then they don't know how to talk to you. They don't know how to move forward with you. And so nothing ever starts with them because they don't know how to move forward. If that makes sense to you, Virgos, let me know. Let's move on to Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn? Listen to your intuition when it comes to this Queen of Swords. Ooh, you know what I'm feeling there. Someone's being a crazy ass bitch when they're drinking. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Cups with the Nine of Swords and the Justice card. Capricorn, I'm going to warn you right now, be very careful if you are drinking and driving. Be very careful. Uber or Lyft, please. Get somebody who's sober to drive you. Your drinking is causing yourself, is about to cause you some nightmares, or someone else's drinking is causing you nightmares. Because they get very, very angry with you. I mean, like, they tear you down. It is so awful. And if this is a divorce, you're going through a legal separation, something that has to do with legal issues and money. So if this is a business partner, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be about um, love, okay? It can be friendship, can be business partners. Because what I feel here is there could have been a business partnership here that went bad. The money's coming in and somehow you need to cut ties between the two of you because one of you is doing more work than the other and there's, you know, one's being more responsible than the other and it's like that partner is weighing you down and you end up turning into this cut a bitch queen, right? Or vice versa. They're doing that to you. They're cutting you out of the equation. I do feel a sense of, you know, irresponsibility and drinking and someone getting super pissed off here. Yeah, which ultimately leads them to, do I really want to go down this road with them? Well, guess what? Listen to your intuition. You know the answer to this, Capricorn. Are you happy in your situation? Do you know what you want out of life, what you want out of your future, your partnerships? Really, really think about this. What is it that you want? And are you on that path to what you want? I definitely feel anxiety around money and legal issues. So if someone is thinking about getting divorced, but they're wondering, oh my God, but the house, the kids, the properties, the cars, whatever, I don't want to fight with this person. Guess what? You don't need to fight with them. <laughs> Not everything needs to be a fight. Understand Capricorn that there is a much brighter path to this future. This is going on that spiritual journey. This is moving on to bigger and better. He is climbing up the top of the mountain. You are not there yet. But the path to the top of the mountain, where you feel freedom, where you feel love and happiness, it's causing you nightmares. And I feel as though you don't even know what's on that path. It's all in your head. You're causing that stress. You're causing those assumptions. Stop and take a breather. Listen to your intuition, like practical intuition. Choose your path and move forward. That's what I have for you, Earth Signs. I hope that resonated with you guys. I'm going to do Air Signs next because I got some Air Signs here. Let's see. Air, water. I'm going to do Air Signs next. And if there's time, I will take questions from new people. 
new people because I know I've got a lot of new people here. So let's see, air signs next. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Do I have any Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? I will catch up on all your funny posts. I will catch up on all your posts and combos <laughs> when I replay it. Because I'm trying to get through this so that I can really focus on the readings. All right, Aquarius. I got Aquarius. How many Aquarius, Libra, Geminis do I have here? Clear that. Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Let's clear this, please. Got my sage burning. It's funny because usually my sage isn't still burning when I'm reading. So who needs these messages? I got people here that really need to hear these messages. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What do we have going on for this coming week? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. No. Sorry, the answer is no. This is not like, mm, maybe not today. No, this is a no. No, no. No, don't even freaking think about it. No. Okay? So... First thing that comes to your mind, air signs, the answer is no. Aquarius, the two cards that flipped over right now, but I'm going to show you even though I'm not going to take them yet. Queen of Wands, she came up in the reverse, and the Ten of Wands. So, fire sign stressing you out, fire sign mother. Is that a fire sign mother, mother figure, wife? Baby Mama, Aries Leo Sagittarius affecting one of you air signs. Here we go, Aquarius, the Chariot, Libra, Five of Wands, Gemini, Page of Swords. Okay, so the answer is no. Aquarius, if this has something to do about a car, about travel, about a certain path you were taking, or you're thinking of buying a new car? The answer is no. Whatever plan you had, the plan of action for this cancer, for this chariot card, the answer is no. It could also be something that happened in the month of July regarding a car. If you were in an accident, if you were, you know, if you, if you bought a car and it turns out to be a lemon, right? This is something that happened back then for you that's kind of coming back to haunt you now. Whatever action you had taken. Libra, if you are the one petty fighting people here over the dumbest things, the answer is no. Not a good look for you, Libra. If this is someone coming at you like that, it's time for you to take your power back and put a stop to it by saying no. You're not going to come in and do this to me. Uh-uh. Not going to happen. Gemini, Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So if this is you coming about, going about something in an immature way, I feel as though you're cowering a little. You're not feeling very confident, but you've got this big sword that's practically bigger than you, probably weighs more than you, and you think you're all tough and you're going to cut people out. The answer is no. You're going to make a fool out of yourself, Gemini. Let's clarify these cards. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Clarify the chariot with the no card, please. Why is there a no with the chariot card, the lovers? If you were... If you were planning on buying a car with someone, if you were planning on buying a car for someone, a partner, a lover, okay. Easily right off the bat, this is something that happened surrounding a car, whether it was an accident, whether it was a car purchase, someone made a financial decision regarding a car that probably didn't take their partner into consideration and it became a money drain. This is something in regards to travel, to changes, to cars, 
some something here that got delayed and it has to do with a partnership okay so quite a few cards flew out but let's see it's a financial dream something ended up costing more than you anticipated you're about to find out yeah these are the same cards that flew out and yet they came out again I put them back in and spirit said no no girlfriend take these two trust me so here it is the minute you find out how much of a money drain this is going to be is when you turn into this asshole or they're going to turn into that with you you're just like I've had it I've had it why didn't you tell me what was going on why didn't you tell me this was going to cost this much why didn't you tell me that you financed it for this many years and not that many years why didn't you tell me that it really costs 600 a month and not 300 a month this is this is a big huge disagreement regarding money a money drain and it's you feel as though you're gonna have to put in so much more work to bring this financial balance back into this relationship because the answer is no here you trying to move forward you trying to move forward the answer is no it's not happening because it's costing some money I keep getting car accident it can also be car purchase because I feel like somebody here like like there's a husband here who bought their kid a car without consulting the wife and she's like why did you just do that <laughs> it's something like that I feel too right so it's <sighs> Or someone who put like invested into something in regards to travel car but but something towards the future you know what the answer is there's more that meets the eye here there is more to this situation than you're aware of so Libra petty fighting king of Pentacles the answer is no if there is an earth sign male doesn't have to be male could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn could be a husband manipulative husband that you've been fighting so much with this this to me this to me five of wands and eight of wands it's like you know when you get really mad at your partner at your boyfriend whoever it is and you're like having this super toxic and like you've never typed a text so fast like you should have carpal tunnel that's how much you've been texting bullshit to each other back and forth right there's like so much going on here this has to do either with a father figure in control of money or this has to do with a husband who is trying to be the breadwinner here this is surrounding money remind it's also surrounding like head of household husband father grandfather like man of the house and someone is not happy here at all about whatever this situation causes this five of wands to be one more card for Libra, please. Again, with the money. What's going on, Air Signs? Are you all caught up in this situation with the car? <laughs> the money dealings? Money drain? If there's a Libra here asking their dad for money, it becomes a fight and a struggle. They're much more imbalanced than you're aware, even though they're trying to show themselves as like, I got you, honey. I got you, babe. Don't worry, sweetheart. Yes, son. I will lend you the money for college. Yes, son. Come by the house. I'll give you whatever you need to buy that car. There's a money drain here. Someone is, someone is putting up a front and getting that money whatever it may be it doesn't have to be money but in terms of finances someone promises to purchase something for you to buy you something something that you need you go to them you ask and they come across as though yes i got you i got you then it turns out they don't have you because they don't even have themselves and then you get disappointed and you get pissed off and you're just like get out of my face no with this shit and it becomes a petty fighting petty argument we got text messages galore emails all kinds of stuff right so let's move on 
to Gemini. Gemini, you got the Page of Swords. Page of Swords and the Hierophant. And the Magician, you got two very strong cards with this. <sighs> Gemini, if you think that there is a specific situation you are trying to manifest that you've been thinking and overthinking about this. You've really taken the time to think about how you want this to play out. And although you've, you've put some thought into it, this is something in terms of corporate finances, a business, a marriage, wanting to take things to that level, trying to manifest a new life with this partner, You've tried to be very methodical about it and really think about it. You're, you're trying to search like within. Is this going to piss them off? Is this going to make them happy? When I feel like you're not giving this other person the credit that, that they, they should have. I feel like you're, you're not giving yourself the credit either. If this is about wanting a new future and moving forward, you're going about it the wrong way. That's why you have that no card there. You know you're in your feels, Gemini. You know that you're feeling emotional about this because this has been very stressful for you. Trying to get things right. Look at all that red, right? Red, 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 right? That's a lot of red. This is something that you feel very, very passionate about. But when I see red here, a lot of red next to that note card, what do I think? big fucking red light right it's a big red light to say pump your brakes gemini you're going about it the wrong way don't overthink it you have the answers within the answers are around you you've got all the tools all the tools you have everything that you can possibly think of to move forward here why are you making it more of a big deal when it doesn't have to be and then you feel like i can't I, I can't seem to please them. I can't do anything right. I don't know how to do this. Yes, you do, Gemini. Cut that shit out. Yes, you do. Stop putting yourself down. When you have the magician card here, it's because you have the tools, the answers to what it is you want to manifest. Moving forward. But the way you're going about it now, the answer is no. You're going about it the wrong way. Okay, Gemini, that was for you. Sorry if I got mean, if I was yelling. I feel, sometimes I feel like that. Like I'm feeling your, your emotions that you're holding inside. It's almost as though you're doubting yourself, Gemini. You feel like the confidence isn't there when you try to move forward with the situation. There's something holding you back. That's for Gemini. And of course, we're moving on to water. And thank you guys for sticking around after water. I am going to do uh, pull angel messages for each element. And if there are any new people, I will take personal questions and I'll go over that how I do this. Okay, water signs now. I promise when I watch the replay and I'm going to post this up on YouTube that I will catch up to all your comments. So let's move on to water signs. Yeah, that sage is still burning. That never happens when I'm about to read for you guys. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. I, I absolutely appreciate you guys so much. Like, I don't even know. Like, like, I think about it and I'm like, how can I really express my gratitude to your guy to you guys and you and most of you that have been with me from the beginning know that I am about gratitude I don't take anything for granted at all you know I I, I connect with you guys I message you guys I check up on you guys you know like I am super grateful for all of you and I think of you you know as part of my journey and so I, I this is really all about helping you guys out and we help each other out and this is this is awesome i want to thank you guys so much which is why i'm doing like you know giveaways for my birthday <laughs> right like i'm giving you guys something for my birthday that's that's the only way i can explain to you guys like how grateful i am to everyone 
so here we go and Caitlin always thank you thank you so much for interpreting for Miss B P K P okay Karen <laughs> you changed your name Miss B thank you so much okay so here we go water signs Pisces Cancer Scorpio what do we have going on this week Within the next few months. Ooh, what you got going on, water signs, within the next few months? What do you have going on? Pisces. Give me a card for Pisces. Ten of Wands. What is up with this heaviness, Pisces? <sighs> Cancer. Three of Cups. Scorpio. Scorpio. <laughs> Queen of Cups, Scorpio. Okay, so right off the bat, within the next few months. If you're feeling burdened right now, Pisces, Ten of Wands, like you can't see straight, you can't see 10 steps ahead of you, you're gonna gain that clarity within the next few months. And we're gonna clarify that right now, just how much you're gonna come, how you're gonna go about getting this clarity. The Three of Cups, Cancer. Well, congratulations, you have something to be celebrating in a few in a few months, right? Within the next few months. And Scorpio, the Queen of Cups. So if this is you, Scorpio, you have a lot of emotions that you've been dealing with lately. And yes, the Taurus Hierophant card just flipped out as I started shuffling. But Queen of Cups for Scorpio, within the next few months, you will, if you are in this current position right now where you are contemplating a lot of the emotions that you've been feeling lately, a lot of things that have been coming up for you that you maybe just don't know how to deal with emotionally, I feel as though you're going to get the clarity that you need within the next few months. This is a turning point for, for the three of you. I really, really feel it. Because within the next few months, Pisces drops their wands, Cancer celebrates, and Scorpio, Scorpio, you if you figure out how to deal with these emotions and move forward. So let's see what's going on with Pisces in the next few months. If you are worried about a relationship, Pisces, <laughs> why <are> you worried? <laughs> oh, I feel another card flipped over. Did it? Did it not? Let's see, Pisces, within the next few months, whatever was burdening you, worrying you, stressing you out in regards to a partnership, partnership, relationship, it's, 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 it's time, it's time to drop the, drop the wands, it's time. So here it is, more cards for Pisces, clarify Pisces, please. Oh, look at that, two of wands. So you drop the 10, you focus on a path, you focus on two wands with this, with this couples, right? <sighs> Try not to be defensive. I get you have the need to stand your ground here. Try not to get defensive. Okay. Stop blocking your intuition. Stop holding back what you're really thinking, what you're really feeling. There are things here that weigh heavily on you about this partnership or relationship. Those 10 turn into two within the next few months and you will be able to clearly decide what it is you want. Do you push them away because you decide you don't want them? Or do you stand your ground and say, hey, I've already done all this shit. Why are you still fucking around over there? Why are we not moving forward? Don't allow them to block your intuition. Don't allow them to stop you from your path. King of Wands. King of Wands. Action. It's time for them to take action. It's time for you to take action. Drop the wands. There's a lot of passionate and fiery energy here. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Dealing with Pisces or that's in your chart. But this guy, he may be seated. And he's got one big wand on his right and holding, you know, holding it with his right hand. But that's just for him to like gain momentum because he looks like he's ready to jump out of that chair and move forward. Like without a doubt, no hesitancy. And if that is what you want from your partner, it's time you drop the wands and you let them know, look, you're either like this or you're not. And that's why you got the two of wands. Stand your ground. You're either going to push them away and do your own thing 
or you're going to stand your ground and say, hey, hello, wake up, been here, don't want to continue the same route, let's change things. All of those answers will come to you within the next few months. So here we go, Three of Cups for Cancer. What is Cancer celebrating within the next few months? Okay. What are you up to, Cancer? What are you manifesting? What are you trying to create here? Mm, 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 look at that. Yes, Cancer. You have been thinking of moving forward with someone from your past, trying to get back together with someone. You want to be able to celebrate a more positive future, right? You want to move forward towards calmer waters together. You're going to ask them, let's try this again. Can we move forward together? If you're afraid of being judged about what happened in the past, with the Three of Cups, the Six of Swords, what tells me is that in the future you have a lot to celebrate. Take that leap of faith, Cancer. Do what needs to happen. Offer that cup of love. Figure out what it is you truly want before you offer that cup of love. Take that leap of faith. Manifest the future you want. If that's with someone from your past and trying to bring something back from the past, give it life again. Something to celebrate and move forward to, move forward with. Cancer, it is happening for you. Take that leap of faith. I'm feeling it. I feel like I don't even need more cards for cancer. Do you have more cards for cancer spirit? Yes, you do. You're acting like you're confused and you don't know what to do next. That confusion will go away within the next few months. Yeah, see? <laughs> that confusion will go away within the next two months. This is like I'm thinking about taking that leap of faith, right? Then you get all caught up in your thoughts and confusion and you jump from the page to the night into your big boy panties, right? Your big boy shorts, your big girl panties. And you're like, you know what? No, I'm taking that leap of faith and it's going to happen within the next few months. Scorpio, Scorpio, Queen of Cups, Scorpio. What is going on, Scorpio? What is happening within the next few months? So I feel as though this is a Cancer mother, Pisces mother, Scorpio mother, mother figure, baby mama. Within the next few months, if you're not expecting some of you, if you don't want kids, use protection because I can and do see pregnancy for some of you. Your partner may not be happy about it though. So if some of you are trying to entrap someone to staying in a relationship, use protection. Even if you think they're not capable of it, fighting will ensue. I also feel that for some of you, you're fighting like a mom, mother figure, baby mama, if you're the mom, you're fighting someone else. You get very emotional. And when you get emotional, you don't give a shit how you hurt people, Scorpio. Winning at all costs. And Scorpios, you, you can get pretty mad. You can get, you know, like, I don't give a shit if I hurt them, they hurt me and I'm gonna hurt them worse, right? And so then you go from feeling like the Queen of Cups to the King of Swords, and all of a sudden you show them, like, I don't care about you. At least that's what your face, what your front shows. But I'm not, I'm not feeling this. You're holding those emotions inside. And this has to do with a partnership. For others of you. This has to do with moving things forward within a partnership. You want this new beginning. But if you have been fighting with this person because you're fighting the emotions inside you, that like you've been really, you know, you kind of been kind of been of a jerk lately. You've been kind of rude lately because hey, now it's time to face the reality. You got feelings for this person and you've been trying to hold them at bay, keep them at bay. This new beginning is inevitable because the will of fortune says, "Hey, I'm moving this shit forward. Stop being an asshole. It's not in your best interest. Stop being a jerk. And if the other person is being that way with you, within the next few months, they're going to realize that going about this way was the wrong way. Absolutely the wrong way. But they'll come back around. They got a lot of feelings held up in there. And they don't want to show them. 
So they might come off a little cold. They might come off a little serious and uncaring, but they do. That's how they protect themselves. The universe is saying, that's nice and all, but we're gonna make sure that there's work put into whatever this is you're trying to manifest. It's happening. The universe is making it happen whether you're ready or not. So water signs, I hope that resonated with all of you. I will, I promise I will catch up to everyone's comments when I watch the replay. I am going to pull, I've got 10 minutes left before this video cuts off. I'm going to pull angel messages for you guys for each element. And it will be the most important message <clears throat> each element needs to hear. Thank you guys for sticking around. Let's see. What angel messages do all the elements need to hear? We'll start with fire signs. What message do fire signs need to hear? Fire signs. Angel Layla. Spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that is your message. Remember guys, if you ever want me to take a picture of what these angel message cards are, um, so you can have a better idea or a better view of the message, just let me know, I'll send it to you. So we're going to move on to Earth Signs next. Let me get these cards together here. Earth Signs. What message do you have, angels, for Earth Signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. I don't know about you, Virgos, but I freaking love this. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. New person comes into the picture, new job, new opportunities, new business ventures. Yeah, totally, I'm totally loving this. This is for earth signs. Air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Aw, Archangel Gabrielle. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Air signs, if you want to copy a picture of this card, I will send it to you. DM me. That is for air signs. And water signs. Well, that one came out quickly. And I feel like this card has been coming out so fast, so much. Right? Water signs. Angel, unicorn, mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Now, doesn't that go with within the next few months, the reading I just did for you guys? I feel as though that, that resonates with that. I'm going to pull one more water signs because that one popped out really quickly. And you also have Angel Maya. Schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So all my students out there, or you're waiting, you're thinking of going back to school, here's your sign. Okay, so if you've been contemplating going back to school, there's your sign. If you've been contemplating learning something new, there's your sign, right? 